Hey Dino fans, how we going? Mr. A2G back playing some more Durango. How we going guys? Sorry it's been a little bit of a while since I've posted in between for you guys that weren't aware that don't watch any of my other videos but took a week off, just wanted to sort of relax a little bit, not play any games really and just sort of um, chill out and um, yeah, so more or less just wanted to take a bit of a break. I've been at this for a little while so I thought, you know what, break was in order and that was it. That, that's basically the only reason why I hadn't posted for the week, so apologies on that, but we are back. Um, hopefully you guys haven't missed me too much, so let's get into another video today. So, Alright, um, I'll show you what I've actually done with the base as well, and I just want to sort of have a quick peek of everything here, just before I go any further. So if we jump into the... <clears throat> Uh, you can't really see too much with the exploration mode but there is another little mode that you can sort of do that will um uh where do we go no oh, i didn't want to do that expand and decorate no 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 oh there is definitely a way i can sort of open up my ah now i've lost it Uh, that's just your clan, but there was a way that you can... Oh, your domain, of course. Jesus. So basically, if you just want to go up to here, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Yes, probably should have done that. Anyway, so yeah, this is what I've done so far. I've added a whole lot of baskets and things like that. Yes, I know I'm not that high level yet to craft boxes or anything like that so i guess this is this is it this is it. it is what it is for now i'm sure you guys that have been playing this for a lot longer than what i have progressed so much further than what i have here have actually um you know gotten more items and craftability and, and been able to craft you know better um better items for yourself so including boxes and things like that yes i've got a few other expands expansion slots that i can fulfill i'm not going to do that anyway for now until i sort of fill out everything around my area and then we'll sort of move it about but i have finally caught some dinosaurs so you know from the previous video um over a week ago i, I didn't know what I was doing and all that sort of stuff and it was just painful. Um, now that I've been able to capture a couple of dinosaurs, I am so wrapped um, that we have our dinosaurs here and I want to put in the bag and basically we're going to take it out with us to, a, um, to one of our zones. Hopefully we can actually use it because I can see um, dinosaurs that you know other players that have tamed and also that they've um you know that have got on, on on their islands and things like that that we visit and things like that but when i craft when i tamed my first dinosaur here um this little fella here I, i'm not having been, not been able to put it either i mean i know it's unrealistic but you put it in your bag and then you can sort of take it with you to you know uh, to one of the unstable islands there i'm not too sure but I haven't seen a way or an option to do that. If you guys could let me know in the comments, that'd be so helpful. Because I really want to take a dinosaur out with me. I'm guessing it's got to be this way as well. Now that I've got it in its little little uh, box here, I can actually um, take that with me. But by doing so, do I lose it? And I'm guessing that's going to be the case. But look, it is what it is. But I'm not too sure how that sort of works out. Let's go to the Tundra Sea here because I know I can move over here now. Uh, yep, that's fine, whatever. And then we've got these other little um, islands as well. So I haven't seen these before. Uh, so you've got to complete uh, previous uh, stage pioneer missions to unlock. So I'm guessing that you've got to fulfill all the pioneer missions there. I don't know how much you have to do before that actually happens. Um, but if you guys have unlocked that area, which I'm sure a lot of you have, let me know again once more in the comments what I need to do to get to those additional islands there. Um, yeah, that'd be very, very helpful. Anyway, traveling along to the island. And I'm guessing, as I said, as soon as I'm... Um, 
Okay, so an academic research team traveled to a group of islands to test hypothesis, 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 anyway, on warp energy. However, something seems to have gone wrong. Ooh, okay. So we can, so you, you can see the guys here got picker raptors, uh, a pick, pick tar, uh, picker raptor, I don't know how you, how you pronounce them anyway. And you can see a lot of the guys here have already mounted, um, you know, all, amounted to a lot of these uh, bits and pieces. So they put all their work tables and things like that, which helps us as well. A lot of people that can't actually do that on the fly. So, but yeah, I'm guessing once I jump into my inventory bag, form bond. So, yep, animal cannot be sold or given to others until that bond is broken. Cool, so we can summon him. And there he is. So at least I know I've got him in the zone here as well. He's got a hundred in his own inventory slot, which is fine. I can jump onto him and yes, we can. He's not the quickest. <laughs> I was gonna say we can run into the zone and um, yeah, muck about, but it doesn't seem it's gonna give us much of an option. Be at a snail's pace, that's that's for sure. Well, we're going to go ahead and do one of these missions today while I've got you guys here. We'll have a bit of a chat, all that sort of stuff anyway. So let's go to the Chlorophyll Forum. All right, Tundra Island, uh, Island sorry, may have maybe barren wastelands, by, uh, but nature has a way of thriving in places such as these. For example, we are currently investigating on how the um, Coleophysis survives, if, if I've pronounced that correctly, good on me for today. If not, eh. Anyway, it's all good. Uh, survive those conditions, but we need more samples in order to make any progress. I suspect you will be able to get a hold of their leg bones without much trouble. Okay, so it's a dinosaur that we need to attack. And he does give us a marker, which is great. Let us travel at snail's pace. Fortunately, not so much warp speed, but oh my God, come on, man. What are you doing? I guess it really doesn't impact your stamina while you're running along, but still, goodness me, how, how slow is he? Okay, so, alright, so let's... Crater, fantastic. And I don't know if you guys can actually attack me. Oh, yes you can, yes you can. Let's enter combat. Oh my god. <laughs> and actually, I've got a new... Um, oh, my dinosaur's going to attack as well. How awesome is that? Okay, yeah, so I've been able to craft some new items as well, weapons, and um, as you can see, I've actually got a decent weapon now. I mean, I, I say that now and then, you know, someone else will show me that I've, I've got a, a much superior weapon than myself, so I'll just take that as well. We'll take the meat. Yeah, so, so far, it looks like I'm limited to what I can craft and there's not much to it, so... Uh, once I've collected everything off this animal here, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you what I can, what I can and can't kind of craft. So at least you know you guys get a bit of an idea and understanding what's going on as well. And let me know in the comments what is a better um, uh, weapon to. Ooh, okay, is that a glitch? That is a glitch. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I've got a new. Um, I have a, a new ride, and it's a ghost dino. What do you think about that? No, let's do the right thing. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that as a little bit of an uh, amusement. All right, so back what I was saying. So let's no. All right, so let's go to craft and build. Let's go to weapons. So right now, this is all that I've got to to craft in terms of weaponry. So. I ended up crafting that, the two standard, uh, sorry, standard two-handed hammer, and that's what I've got at the moment, so it uh, wasn't too bad, I mean, it really doesn't need that much to actually, um, uh, to craft. The hammerhead was, was a bit of an annoyance the first time that I actually tried to uh, craft it in the first place, so I think I had to use the large hammerhead. Yeah, so, and plus, you, you know, all these other little sub-items, like tools and things like that at that point when I was trying to actually craft this in the first place I had everything but then I didn't have one thing and then I didn't have the other thing once I crafted that and it was just a bit of a chain reaction which 
you know, in actual fact, it could have, would have taken literally all of two minutes to do it all, but it took me like 20 minutes. So again, this is more, you know, learning, I guess, at the end of the day, but what, what do you do, guys? Um, all right, so you have to jump off. And all right, so let's fill it automatically. Perfect. All right, I'm going to leave you there for now. I think, he, I think he follows me. He does follow me. So you know what? I'm going to use you as a glorified backpack because you, unfortunately, are really, really slow. So, uh, as cold as uh, tundra islands can get, heat sources are vital to survive. With charcoal, it's easy to keep warm. Just think about everyone else sitting around the set. Yep, crowd of fire. All right, so can we craft charcoal? That's the other thing I'm not even sure of. Uh, is it under cooking? Ooh, you've got a lot of these as well. Specialty foods. Search. Let's just go charcoal. Okay, so, <clears throat> so you can't craft charcoal, but you could probably buy it, I guess. We just would have typed that in. And okay, well, there's really not much to it, I guess. So you'll need a certain level, I guess. So we can always fulfill that. I mean, it's only a couple of dollars here and there, so I'm not going to be really worried about it. Okay, so I need 15 or higher, so I need five pieces. So long as I get what I'm after here, not a problem. There we go, and all right. So we'll buy that, because that was relatively cheap. And I think all of these are unfortunately at 99 uh, in-game dollars, unfortunately. So that's a bit of a pain. And the most that you'll spend is 400. The least that you get to spend is 99. Oh, well, you know what? For you guys, it doesn't bother me. I'm just going to buy up. Probably a waste of time. Let me know best way to get charcoal and I think I've got all of them okay cool so there goes another mission all done and wrapped up plus you, you sort of get a little bit back in um, in uh, coin returns so I mean when you sort of do this sort of stuff here if you start using the um, uh, please give me some mud and let's see what the soil is capable of. I think I know where the mud is with this, so let's go ahead and run up this way. Does it give me, it does not give me the, um, a little, uh, location point. But, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I think the game's gone through a recent update where you can actually see the, um, the island in a silhouette. And, at least it gives you an idea where you, where you need to sort of run to, or where you can run to, probably should say so why can't i get someone like you that you can actually gallop whereas i've got you know a very very slow dinosaur i need to find something that's faster you definitely do uh yeah so i think i can do oh these guys look a little bit more on the hostile side now but let's move over this way I'm pretty sure if there's land over here, ooh, direwolves. Ooh, I haven't seen direwolves before. There you go. Look at you. You know what? I'm gonna attack one. Because why not? Fortunately, you can't capture them. Got a decent hit on one. It's got a decent amount of um, uh, what do you call it? Decent amount of um health. I sort of try to take on. I can't remember for the life of me which animal it was, but it had over three thousand. Uh, hit points, and yeah, that was a no-go from me, unfortunately. And I'm starting to get a little bit better in this combat system as well, which is awesome. And now I've got another die. How many other diables are trying to attack me now? Oh my god. And, okay. Um, this is probably not going to be a good thing. Let's get... And we've got the cubs as well, okay. Um, I'm not going to survive, I don't think. Um, okay, this is not good. Jesus, alright, um, alright guys. No, 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 run, run, what are you doing, don't. 
and combat. Get out of there. No, I'm dead. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. That. Yeah. Yeah. Rip on that one there, guys. Uh, let's see if we can get a, a rescue happening. I'm just going to offer a meet and let's see if someone can at least come and get me. Um, I'm not too far away from home, but we'll see if anyone, you know, uh, comes to my aid. But, you know, while we're doing that there, um, yeah, guys, as you can see, I'm still not um, the best in this game at all. So a little bit unfortunate, um, but what do you do? It's just, you know, something that, you know, you still have to go through, I guess. It's more of a, a learning, a learning curve. So, what, yeah, what do you do? And is anyone going to come and find me? I've used this once before. I mean, I didn't die on camera, but died off camera. So, um, someone had been able to come over and rescue myself, but... Um, at least they sort of lost interest in me and they've gone away. And... Can you revive a war pole? You probably just have to go back and just get your own stuff, I guess. Yeah, alright. We'll, we'll just go ahead and do that. <coughs> okay. So, yeah, okay. So you can go up to your dead body anyway and just recover. There's no point in waiting anyway, so... Well, those dire wolves were a little bit on the um, crazy side. As soon as I was onto one of them, one of them wasn't too bad in defeating, but um, what do I lose out of here? Yeah, let's just um, pick up all and take all that pack. Yeah, anyway, so um, we'll go out and find some mud. So I think last time, I mean, the maps do change every time, but I know it was sort of in the, towards the left-hand side of the previous map that I was at, so I'm hoping that's going to be, you know, the same sort of scenario. And I think I've got the necessary tools required, so I don't know if I need, I think I need the shovel. Do I have the shovel? I think I've got the shovel. And... It is a shovel, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, anyway, we'll work it out when we get there, if we find it today. If not, we'll, um, we'll, we'll address it in the next video, I guess, and uh, we'll take it from there. But dying wasn't fun. So, yeah, guys, if you can, avoid dying. Most definitely. You really don't want to die in this game. Um, Alright, so... Who are you? What are you guys? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Yep, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. Not gonna bother with you. And alright, we've got a crater. Mud pit, there we go. Okay, so we found the mud pit. And what do I need out of this? I need to craft a shovel. I need a wood pillar and a strap. Straps are not gonna be too much of an issue right now because I can go right over here and towards the water. And then I may as well jump over this, so I found myself the warp hole, of course. But, let's pick up a few of these. And I need a wood pillar as well, so once that's done, should be able to find myself some wood pillar, and we'll get some wood, uh, mud. And that should be it. You know what, I think I did throw the shovel that I had back at camp, so that's probably the reason why... I thought I had one, but anyway. Um, okay. So, wood pillar should be up here. You know what? And I could have done charcoal on my own, so instead of buying it, I don't know why I wasn't able to do that. That that's very weird. That's actually very weird because I did type that in the search bar beforehand. Anyway, what do you do? Not much. Okay, so let's cut some of the log. And we'll get a couple of wood pillars. We'll make our makeshift shovel and we should be able to grab some mud. Okay. 
Okay, one more. All right, that should be enough. We should be able to go into the craft menu. Cut pillar, let's do by two. And let's go ahead and get that sorted. Okay, so that's one and a do it. Let's go back to craft and tool and let's get our makeshift shovel. What is better? Wooden shovel or makeshift? I guess it doesn't really... I mean, one requires rope, I guess. Which we can sort of do right now, I guess. I haven't even done that, so... Uh, rope. Let's craft a couple of them. Let's do that. I'm guessing the wooden one would be the better one. I don't know. I'm just going to craft it. We'll see how we go. And we just need the one anyway. Perfect. So it's, that's a level 23. By the looks of things. Yep, there we go. Alright. Alright, so we're in the, the mud pit fields here. So let's go ahead and... I'll grab some more as well. So these are level 30. So this will be fine. There we go. Ah, farming, which is good. Category up. Yes, yeah, so you actually need mud to create your farms as well. So yeah, that's another thing. So I might just get a little bit more. And we sh yeah, we can roll back and I'll probably get some of these to our um, to our home farms and we can finally yeah, get some stuff uh, crafting and cropping as well. What do you guys normally um, craft on your on your farming fields there? Let me know in the comments. And also, things like base layouts and things like that, um, be really interested to know what you guys have done, uh, as opposed to what I've done and what you guys have seen so far. Um, yeah, okay. Oops, no, 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 I just missed out, didn't I? Ah, that's all right, that's all right, all good. And, yeah, yeah, start, start. Because I am running out of health, so I may as well just finish that one off. Use a little bit on the tired side. Should have some cooked meat. There we go. So that's going to give us stam stamina for days back on that. Oh, not so much. Dropping, can we pick that up? You can. I don't know if that's fertilizer. I'm guessing that it is, but... Grab the cherry. It's all part of the farming category. And as you can see, my guy is just ripping through the levels. As you can see, I mean, he hasn't really, I haven't really gotten to the farming aspect, so I don't know why I've been holding off on it or I haven't just been, you know, um, in that mindset of actually going through the, uh, the farming uh, category. So that I couldn't really tell you, to be honest with you. But yeah, let me know <coughs> what you guys do best practice in terms of um, uh, leveling up and I don't want the leg bones. Um, and also, yeah. Any sort of handy tricks or tips or whatever that may improve, um, you know, my base and all that sort of stuff. I'll be interested to know for sure. But we're going to go ahead and call this one. As soon as I get to the... No. Run, friends. Run. Back to base you go. Come on. There we go. All right, <laughs> we're safe. Do not want to die twice in one episode. Definitely do not want to do that. Anyway, let's just do that and submit that. Perfect. There we go, trust here up. So yeah, still trying to work out what we need to do to get to the other islands. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments, guys, what is the best practice here. I don't want to read the bulletin board, I want to get into here. So we've already done, a, well, three missions today, I mean, this will be the last one. But I'm just going to go ahead and sit here, grab a shovel, bring back, oh, I've already done that, haven't I? No, that was quick, so I've done all four without even knowing I did the fourth one. That's just awesome. That's just awesome. Completed two missions notice. So let's just receive. Look at that. And we are level 30, guys. Look at that. That's awesome.
That's awesome. Let's just get these warp gems. Grab that. Amazing. All right, so we've acquired all that, and okay, so the world is starting to feel like a big place, isn't it? Why not make it a bit more manageable by joining other pioneers on a civilized island? Yes, I would. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. That line comes out of courtesy for the latest book I'm reading. It really speaks to me. Okay, that's it. Zebraceratops has come a level 27. Declare a new domain on a civilized island. Expand your previous civilization. Okay. All right. So what does that mean? Anyway, we're probably going to find out in the next video anyway. But thanks guys for watching as always. If you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that sort of good stuff. Like and comment guys. Give me some tips. Want to learn more about this game. So with your help, you know, I'll be able to produce a little bit more better content with it. So... With all that being said and done, take it easy, catch you next time.